American Top 40. Our second of four new songs this week in American Top 40 debuts at number 38 by a fellow born in Greenwich Village, New York. His name is Harry Chapin, his hit, Taxi. It was raining hard in Frisco. A debut song at number 38, Harry Chapin and Taxi. American Top 40. And now the first hit by a new recording artist who's already been making it as a film producer. Three years ago, he made a picture called Legendary Champions that got an Academy Award nomination. It didn't win the Oscar, but it did win awards in both the New York and the Atlanta film festivals. It was a feature-length documentary covering the history of boxing from 1882 to 1929. The artist was 26 years old at the time that he wrote it, and edited, and directed the picture. He put it together with a huge collection of fight films. Now, I haven't seen the movie, but I can tell you this. I'm impressed by anyone who's good enough to get nominated for an Oscar. I'm also impressed by the way this artist writes songs and sings them. At number 31 this week, here's Harry Chapin and his feature-length hit single that runs about six and a half minutes. It's titled, Taxi. It was raining hard. Moving up seven this week to 31, Harry Chapin and Taxi. American Top 40. Now I have the current hit by a 31-year-old New York artist whose talents go beyond the music business. Five years ago, he received an Oscar nomination for a film called Legendary Champions, which he wrote, edited, and directed. It was a feature-length documentary covering the history of boxing from 1882 to 1929, and he put it together from a huge collection of fight films. Well, the picture was nominated, but didn't win the Oscar. It did win awards in both the New York and the Atlanta film festivals, which isn't bad for a first-time shot at producing a motion picture. And the artist was just 26 years old when he did it. He's doing pretty well on the pop charts, too. He debuts this week with his latest. It's called Cats in the Cradle at number 37. Listen to it. Harry Chapin writes a great lyric. A child arrived just the other day. That was storyteller Harry Chapin from Greenwich Village, New York. At number 37, he debuts with Cats in the Cradle. It's from coast to coast. Now in AT 40, I have the latest hit by a successful singer composer whose busy performing schedule included 60 dates during the last three months, but who didn't earn a single penny on three out of every four performances that he did. Now he isn't being uh, ripped off by any greedy promoters and uh, he isn't failing to draw people. He just does a lot of good deeds. Let me explain. During the last year, he's been on the road almost constantly appearing in concerts and clubs on school campuses all over the country. And the majority of those engagements have been benefits for a variety of worthy causes. He says the way it works out, he only gets paid for one out of every four performances that he does. When we asked him why he does it, he said he has a sense of liberal guilt. And he told us, and we quote here, I like what's happening in my life, and I like what's happening with my kids. But I feel there's a good chance that the world isn't going to last into the year 2000. And as we sink into oblivion, I want to be able to look at my kids and say, at least I tried. So I'm calling my own bluff and in a small way, trying to get involved. End of quote. Nice man. His latest hit moves up to number 10 this week. Here's Harry Chapin, Cats in the Cradle. From Greenwich Village, New York, at number 10, moving up 12 notches, fourth week on the chart, Harry Chapin's biggest hit to date, titled Cats in the Cradle. You're listening to the most listened to songs in the USA as we head toward a brand new number one. The hits from coast to coast. Now on American Top 40, it's time for the current smash by a singer-composer who admits he stole the idea for his hit song from his wife. During the past couple of years, the 32-year-old artist has been getting a lot of rave reviews for his lyrics, and there are many who consider him to be one of the best songwriters anywhere around. But when we spoke with him recently, he was kind of modest about the whole thing. In fact, he insisted that his wife's poetry is even better than his music. And he tells us that a few months ago, while he was browsing through some of her latest work, he ran across a phrase in one of her poems that stuck in his mind. It read, We'll have a good time then. I'm going to be like him. 
Well, he says he liberated that line from his wife's poem, put it into a completely different context, and wrote a song around it. And he's got a smash. Now, if you're wondering about how his wife feels about the whole thing, she's feeling pretty good because her husband gave her co-writer's credit on the song. And it just happens to be the biggest chart hit he's ever had. Up to number five this week. Written by Mr. and Mrs. Harry Chapin. Here's Cats in the Cradle. My child arrived just the other day. Harry Chapin moving from number five to number four in the countdown this week with Cats in the Cradle. The four hottest hits in the USA coming right up. American Top 40. You know, there must be at least 50 million words written every year by music critics and rock columnists about the people in pop music. But sometimes the best descriptions of an artist's work come from the artists themselves. Like the one we got from Harry Chapin recently when we chatted with him about his songs. He told us, and I'm quoting him, I've become a category. Nobody else writes story songs the way I do. Most people write songs in which they expose their attitude toward the subject matter, while I, instead of telling about my attitude, create the situation that created the attitude. End of quote. Moving down to number 35 this week, here's Harry Chapin with his latest story, Cats in the Cradle. Harry Chapin took that song to number one five weeks ago. Now at number 35 in our countdown, Cats in the Cradle. Casey's Coast to Coast. This is Casey Kasem on American Top 40 in Hollywood. And now we're up to the song by the musician who's giving such strong support to a certain worthy cause that even Ralph Nader remarked that this man's commitment is unprecedented. The musician is Harry Chapin. Seven years ago, Harry learned that around the world, 500 million people are suffering from malnutrition. Now, Harry Chapin could have played a benefit or two to raise some money to feed the hungry and ease his conscience. But that wasn't enough for him. Chapin made an ongoing commitment. He told us he plays about 80 concerts a year that are devoted entirely to raising money for various anti-famine organizations. And there's more. Harry decided that a presidential commission on hunger was needed to thoroughly study the problem and to recommend solutions. So Harry began lobbying both houses of Congress to get that done. Consumer advocate Ralph Nader said, quote, Congress has seen a lot of guys come in here for certain causes, but after a few days or hours, they're gone. Harry's committed to this issue on a permanent basis. That was Ralph Nader's observation as Harry Chapin devoted four months to buttonholing senators and congressmen, speaking individually to 150 of them and pleading his cause. Finally, both the Senate and the House of Representatives passed the resolution. And at the signing of the bill to establish the commission by President Carter, Harry was given the honor of presenting the documents to the president for his signature. This week, humanitarian and singer Harry Chapin's latest hit, sequel, is at number 23. So here she's acting. At number 23 in our countdown of the 40 biggest hits in the USA, moving up two notches, Harry Chapin with sequel. The hits, the hits, the hits from coast to coast. 